coming to this place for so many years now that I thought maybe this time I'll take you to some of the places that I like to visit when I'm here. Plus the bigger day has grown so big over the years with the dancers, the food, and the crafts. There's something for everyone. Community stalwarts like Cook Island's Mama, Mary Mama say they've seen it all. And what kind of changes have you seen over the years? Well, I think that people have learned a lot. I think we've moved away, which is a little bit sad to myself that the traditional things that we used to do are slowly fading away a little bit. And doing his best to keep alive those traditional ways was another Cook Islander, this time from Auckland Museum. What I'm making is a vivo koe, or uh, what's called in Cook Island, Cook Island Maori, the, the translated to English, of course, the nose flute. As a Cook Islander, I didn't know that we had nose flutes. Art, art, I think that's one of the arts that uh, has been lost, but uh, it's quite strong in our oral traditions, and the stories, legends, it's there. Over 200,000 people pass through the 10 villages surrounding Westland Springs Lake on this day. And for many of the smaller Pacific Islands community, it's a great way to put their culture on show. Whether it's on stage, or just in passing. It's a credit to the larger communities like Samoa and Tonga, where the smaller ones are enabled to participate as well. So it's, it's a great uh, uh, support on their part. Which, which makes the younger ones come and establish themselves. And you know, in a, in a funny kind of way, it helps the smaller communities be stronger. Over at the Tuvalu village, they've got an umu going. Why is it important that you guys show yourselves here at this festival? I think this is the only way we can uh, show ourselves uh, that we are. Because as you, if you look at the map, Tuvalu is just a top. And it's really hardly long to people. And that's the only way we can uh, expose ourselves by coming through this uh, Pacifica and contribute. And during the rounds, Labour Party leader Phil Goff on his mind the tragic news that morning of Japan's earthquake and tsunami and how it still posed a threat to the region. If a tsunami of that size, 10 metres, has hit Japan, what will that, have, what will that do if it comes down the Pacific? Places like Tuvalu and, and Kiribati uh, and, and even Tonga, Tonga Tapu, so low-lying, most of the news I've heard so far suggests that there has not been extensive damage, and we should thank God for that fact. Even though little damage in the islands was reported, people here were still worried for relatives back home. We were getting ready for Pacifica, and um, when the news came on, it kind of put a dampener on the excitement because we know how vulnerable we are in Kiribati. Of course, when I heard about it, my heart sank. My whole family, every, I'm sure everybody panicked. I mean, all my loved ones are back home in Rarotonga, and like many of the Pacific Islands, we don't have much health. And so if something like a tsunami were to hit, we're very vulnerable. Terrible for Japan, following in behind China, and it was Christchurch three weeks ago. So it tells us that, you know, sure, in the midst of tragedy, you've got life, and you've got hope, and you've got laughter and enjoyment, and the need for us to enjoy each other's company, uh, love our differences. And speaking of enjoyment, there was buckets of it at the Tahitian village. All thanks to these Chilean performers and this Rapa Nui dance. You know, look at me. <laughs> yes, we put up because we love dancing. We love our traditional, you know, dancing metaphors from Israel because we also do dances from Colombia, Mexico, Argentina. We love what we do. You know, it's like you guys. When you do, you dance what you do. What do you feel? You know, you feel great. You feel, you know, wonderful. And it's hard to disagree with them. There's lots happening on 
on stage. The people here pride themselves on making sure the entertainment goes non-stop. And I think it's because it's our one opportunity every year to really celebrate who we are as Cook Islanders, celebrate our music, celebrate our dance, celebrate our drumming, and we'd like to do it as well as we possibly can. It's amazing who you find here backstage at the Cook Island stage with me, Annie Crummer and her dad, Willie. Annie, yeah. who are you? Oh, I'm happy to be here amongst our beautiful brown people. <laughs>